hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome thanks for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss any of my videos so today i will be talking about what natural hair really means some people seem to not know what that means so i will be explaining that i see a lot of females now saying they got natural hair but obviously they really don't know what it means so i will be explaining that to you and you can either take it or leave it so don't go anywhere because i'll be getting started shortly so i would like to first say that when i started my natural hair journey okay i did say oh i got natural hair i got natural hair look at my natural hair I would literally put products into my hair. A lot of products, especially at once. I might put maybe some gel or moisturizing lotion or something like that. And like another product all into my hair and then style it like that. But I really finally realized, well, not I've been realized, but I'm saying... I finally realized at the time that I really didn't have natural hair. The whole time, I did not have natural hair. And the reason why I'm saying this is because how can you have natural hair when you're not putting natural things into your hair? That's all I'm saying. It's common sense. So when I hear girls now say, oh, I got natural hair. Follow me on my natural hair journey. Whoop, whoop, whoop. No, I, I mind my business on social media. I said it myself. But what I'm saying is, how can you say that? I'm sorry, sister, but you don't have natural hair. Your hair might be, you know, long and it might be growing and everything. But what you're putting into your hair is not healthy. It's not the best option. And... You also dumping money, all this money into buying all these products when it's really a waste. Just my opinion. You can be spending your money on something as natural and healthy as possible. That's all I'm saying. So it, <laughs> it really makes me laugh when I see this type, when I see this, when I, when I hear girls and guys because now guys are doing it now they're saying they got natural hair and they use different products <coughs> such as shea moisture camille rose eden body works i mean just a lot of other hair products and you really don't have natural hair in your mind you say you have natural hair but you really don't have natural hair I had to learn that myself because I was one of them that used to always say, I got natural hair, my hair's so healthy, all this other stuff. Yeah, it probably was healthy to a degree, but for the most part, no, not at all. It wasn't. It wasn't until I started doing some digging and, and, and doing research on what natural hair really meant and the ingredients and things and everything and I was like, oh my gosh, I feel bad. I've been saying I have natural hair the whole time when I really didn't. That's all I'm saying. Do y'all see this style <clears throat> I got in my hair? I didn't use a lot of products or anything into my hair. I just used water and gel. And then I just put my scarf on my hair, let it sit for about... 15 to 20 minutes or longer and voila this is the look that i have and this is not the best hairstyle but i like it it's something simple i i see so many females as well always try to look you know their best at everything like girl you ain't got to explain nothing to nobody be you be yourself everything so it just yeah, this is something very just plain. And I like it. I like the style. But yeah, so 
that's what I'm saying, ladies and gents as well. I'm not just talking to the ladies here. I'm talking to you too because now y'all starting to do it. So I'm just trying to help. I'm not trying to, you know, be jealous or anything. I'm just trying to help for your well-being. So like I said, you can either take this information or leave it. I'm just trying to spread that knowledge or whatever, you know, help because I know this information. I already done some research. I'm not an expert or anything like that, but I have done some research when it comes to the hair products. So, yeah, like, I could name a few natural products that can really help your hair. So, you got mango butter, I don't know, cocum butter, flax seeds. Olive oil, coconut oil, and a lot of others as well. But I'll list those, some of them, in the description box. But, yeah, those are natural ingredients that you could just slap in your head, call it a day, comb brush that thing, sister, and you be out of there. You be out the house. Like, you ain't got to be taking your little precious time, putting all these bad chemicals into your hair. I'm pretty sure that's why some of y'all going through what y'all going through now, like, as far as, like, as far as probably, like, split in. I'm in different hair groups as well on Facebook, and I be reading these statuses with these, some of these girls be saying, like, oh, what can I use for my hair because my hair is not growing? <laughs> what? Like, I've even seen funny comments, like funny statuses and, like, comments, too, on Facebook, you know? Like, what can I use for my hair because my hair is, I can't, I can't even explain it, but I've, I've heard some little crazy stories now about people's hair and everything, and I'm just like, are you serious? Are you kidding me right now? So that's what I'm saying. Like, you have to really do research of your own and not just run with what you see with hair products. I know hair products, they do attract you. Some hair products do attract you. I'm not going to lie about that. But don't let that get to you. Don't let, don't, don't let them products t just, just take you like that they taking you when you, <laughs> you don't do that so that's what i'm saying like make sure you do your searching that's all i'm gonna say search google it we got google you see what i'm saying so read the ingredients on the bottles that's all i'm gonna say and then you can pick whether or not you want to use it or not Really up to you. Again, I'm not telling no one what to do. I'm just helping you and I'm trying to spread knowledge here. That's all I'm trying to do. But yeah. And then another thing that kind of gets me is that I remember one time I had said something on Facebook in regards to like natural hair or something like that. I think I was talking about my hair or something. And it was this girl, she had comment on it, and she said something in regards to what I was saying. And she did not know what she was talking about at all. I literally had to, like, correct her. And she didn't say nothing after that. I guess because she knew she was wrong and I was right, so. But, yeah. And when you are also on your natural hair journey, Make sure to moisturize your hair. Moisturize your hair all the time, every single day. Just do it more often, okay? For me, I moisturize my hair. I would say I moisturize, moisturize my hair maybe four or five times a week. Four or five times a week for me. I just, it's just... I learned that what's good for you and what's not. Like, I even put coconut oil on my skin. Because I know coconut oil is not bad, you know, is natural oil. 
I just put coconut oil on my skin and I might use a natural, like a healthier lotion sometimes. But yeah, for the most part, I do put like oil on my skin, on my face or something like that. And I just keep it moving. I keep it moving. And then you don't want to have, you know, brittle hair. You don't want your hair to become brittle as well. So that's what I'm saying, ladies, gents. Just make sure you do your research. And it 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 would take some time, but that's what I'm saying. Like, even if you don't understand, just try. Just try to get something as natural as possible. I know hair products are expensive, like the organic and natural ones. The, I mean, the best hair products you can get. I know they're very expensive, but wouldn't you want to spend that kind of money versus what you're spending now? For some unhealthy products. And it can mess you up down the line. Or it's probably affecting you right now. And you don't even know it. So that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Let me put my bracelet on. And if you have any questions. In regards to what I said. Or you might just have a question for me or anything. Please do not hesitate. <coughs> to ask me. Because you know, some of you know, I gave natural hair advice. And you can also check out my website as well. I will list all that information in the description box below. So, yeah, I believe that's it for today. I just wanted to really explain to y'all what natural hair really means. Because I see so many people on social media nowadays... And I know natural hair is a trend. It really is. It is. So I see so many people saying, oh, I got natural hair. Come follow me on my natural hair journey. I'm using this product. I'm using that product. And they're posting it. They're bragging about this product when little do you know, it's not even healthy. I had to learn that myself, sweetie. I had to learn that myself. Like, now that I'm thinking about it, I actually feel pretty crazy knowing that I used to think that way and now I was saying that. Yes, I was using all the products. When I mean I was spending a lot of money on hair products, you would not believe how much money I spent on hair products. And recently, I would say this was maybe a month ago, a month or two months ago, I threw all my old hair products away. I just had them like in a bag for a while, just sitting there. And I was like, okay, let me just throw these away because I'm not using them for what? I had like every <coughs> hair product you can think of. Shea Moisture, Eden Body Works, Camille Rose, what else? I had like, oh, I can't even think on all of them right now. But yeah, I had a lot of hair products. The video of my hair, the old hair products that I used to have is on my channel here. So look for the video of me talking about the hair products and stuff too. So I, that's what I was doing. But maybe I'll just either put it up here. Or I just list it in, in my description box below. But yeah, so, yes, I really did used to be like that. I really did. And now I feel like, wow, I really waste all that money. But it's fine. It's, it's worth it at the end. I'm glad I know all this information now. I'm glad I can, I ain't got to spend my money on buying nobody's hair products. Now, if it's natural and organic you know and i know it will be good for my hair then yeah i might buy it but if no i'm not doing that when i know i can make my own i can make my own and with no problems i know what i'm putting into my ingredients and my products and i have nothing to worry about i have nothing to worry about everything is cool on my end so, yeah, like I said, if you have any questions, please ask me. That's all. Just ask me. If I can help, I can help, and I can just 
give y'all that type of advice that you need in regards to your hair. That's all I'm going to say. Just try to stay natural and healthy as possible. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. It will be more videos coming your way. So please be on the lookout for them. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. Share this video. Share, 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 share this video. <laughs> okay, I cannot express that enough. Share this video. And please support me. Follow me on um, my Instagram at Chantel's Not True Hair. But yeah, so... I'll be seeing y'all again very, very soon. But thanks for watching my video. Bye, guys.